for my meat pie today i'll be using carrot potatoes salt chili powder thyme garlic no cube minced beef some chopped onions curry vegetable oil so in my pan i'm going to add the vegetable oil just a bit and then add my onions and stir then i'm going to add my minced beef and also stir then i'm going to go ahead to add my spices first i'll be adding the garlic thyme and then my curry powder my salt my stock cube some chili powder and then i'm going to just stir it after it was browned like this i went ahead to add my potatoes then my carrots and i stirred a bit and then i added some water now we're just going to stir this and allow this to sit for some time on the fire and i'm going to prepare tikna to add to the minced beef that i'm making so for this thickener, i'm just using plain flour and i'm going to add some water inside and make it to this consistency and then i added the water to the minced beef and potatoes and then went ahead to stir everything together this is just to give the what i call this sauce or the minced beef some thickness for the next step i'm going to put my flour in a bowl and then add some baking powder just one about one and a half teaspoon and then some salt just a little next i added some butter three spoons of butter to um, the mixture and then after adding the butter i went ahead to knead with my hand adding some cold water i made sure not to add too much because you don't want the dough to be too soft you just want it to be the perfect consistency for meat pie which is not too runny so this was the right consistency i went ahead to cover it with my cloth and allowed to sit for 15 minutes then the next thing i did was to prepare my baking tray using some baking paper I placed it on the baking tray and then set that one aside and then I went ahead to also prepare my countertop for um, rolling for rolling the dough um, so of course I cleaned the surface and then I went ahead to um, roll my dough on it I actually prefer rolling it on the ordinary counter than putting it on the um, board or anything for the commenters anyway so i used the plate to cut a circle shape um for my meat pie i believe there are uh things that you can buy now on amazon and ebay that help you cut the shape easily but i've not gotten to that yet so i'm just using what i have so if you don't have all those fancy tools you can just easily use the plate then the next thing i did was to put my minced beef that was already ready and sitting for a while in the dough that i had already um, rolled and then i put some egg around it with my brush and then i just covered it like this and used the fork to press down the edges so that they can stay together during the baking process. This is what it looks like, and I'm doing it for a second time. So I just simply roll with my rolling pin, and then after rolling properly, I use my plate to cut a perfect circle and then after I put my egg around the edges and 
And then I added my minced beef in the middle, cover the top, and then use my fork to press down the edges. And there you have it, your perfect meat pie. So um, this is all I did. And then I'm going to rub that egg um, egg on the, on the body of the meat pie as well, just to give it a nice finish and a gloss when it's baked. So I put the egg around all the meat pies. After that, the next thing was put it in my preheated oven, which was preheated to about 350 degrees. And um, I just closed the top and let it stay for about 20 minutes, checking regularly, of course. And this is the finished meat pie, guys, and it was delicious, very delicious.